Hey everybody, Lee Rising from Flight Crew Jump Rope here. Uh, ever since I got started in the rope making business, people have been wondering what's so special about my ropes and why should they get mine as opposed to somebody else's. Well, here I will tell you and uh, we're going to go by them piece by piece. So let's take a look. One of the main differences between myself and another rope making company is that I'm an actual jump roper. All right? I'm not a businessman, I'm not a manufacturer, I actually use ropes for a living. And so if I'm putting a rope out there, you can guess it's probably a quality rope rather than the cheapest materials or uh, the easiest manufacturing process or things like that. You know, um, these ropes are built by jumpers for jumpers and so you know you're going to get a quality product when you order from Flight Crew. Alright, so let's talk handles. We have four kinds of handles at Flight Crew Jump Rope. Um, first of all, we got the old school uh, short handles that um, most people don't use anymore for freestyle, but they'll use them for maybe double edge speed with a licorice rope, something like that. Kind of small, pretty flexible. It's an all around good handle, especially for um, people who like to go really fast and, and don't have big hands for kids, you know. Um, the second kind of handle, well, second and third, are the medium handles. Now, medium handles that look like this, uh, they come in two different uh, types. There is the soft, squishy kind, and there's the harder than heck kind. Now, the hard ones, they are very good uh, at holding their shape, especially when you're doing fast multiple unders in single rope. However, they do break all the time, right around here. There's a, there's a fault with them. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to contact the manufacturer of this handle to get that changed and they're telling me that not many people complain about it. So if you have these handles and you have them break all the time on you, please, please, please put in the comment box below, I'm tired of my handles breaking. And then I can use that to, to kind of persuade them to say, hey, everybody else thinks your handles break too. Um, there is the soft, squishy kind of this handle though, and these will last you a lot longer. They're more durable, more flexible. Uh, the only problem is, again, if you're doing anything like single rope, multiple unders, sometimes they will bend while you're actually performing those skills and so um, I don't use them for anything but Chinese wheel and double dutch anyway so uh, that's what I would recommend using them for if you're gonna use single rope I would go with the hard ones just make sure you buy some replacement handles for them and thirdly we have our bread and butter the long handle this is an exclusive handle the flight crew jump rope uh, the place I get these from uh, actually doesn't even sell them anymore they made them exclusively for me and my business and so this is the only place you can get them. Uh, they're awesome, they're durable, they're hard to the um, and they're long handles. Uh, a bunch of other companies will have grooves right here. I don't like that very much because unless your hand is shaped like the match to the groove, it's actually less surface area for you to grip on and I find it makes it a little bit more slippery. Um, it also tells you that you know the grooves are kind of designed to hold it right here or some some of them come with like a little cushy pad that's designed to hold the rope right here and that's not where you're gonna hold the rope with a long handle you're gonna use the length of it um, and and hold it out here so I actually like the smoothness of this because you can hold it anywhere you want and uh, not feel bad about it also another great thing about the smoothness is we're gonna come out with some handle customized little tattoo things. This is just an example of something I had lying around, but if you imagine this red part being clear and then maybe a picture of your team logo or something on there, you can do that. You can put stickers on there. Uh, pretty much any cool customized design you want, you can put on there and, uh, you know, it'll look cool. It'll make your handles look that much different than everybody else's. So uh, that's why another reason why I like the smoothness of it. Next up, we're going to talk about the cord. Now a lot of people don't know this, but the way that a rope feels maybe too light or too heavy actually depends a lot on what kind of string you're actually using inside the rope. Um, I use a thick nylon, not a thick, but a tightly woven uh, nylon cord. It's 1 8 inch diameter and uh, it's, it's going to make your rope feel very responsive. It's not going to, um, like a lot of times when it's a loose weave, when you pull the rope, it feels like the rope's behind you, making it feel too light. Um, but this is very responsive. Um, also, we burn the ends of the ropes, we don't burn the knots of the ropes, so that when you uh, go to size it, it's very easy to untie the knot. You only need one knot because our washers also fit perfectly over the rope. There's not a whole lot of 
extra space there. So all you got to do is just tie one knot. You're good to go. It's easy to tie, untie, and make sure that you burn the end, not the knot, so that you can resize it at your leisure. And finally, we're going to get to the main reason why you're going to choose Flight Crew Jump Rope over any other company, and that is the beads. Uh, the beads themselves are actually made of a higher density plastic than most companies, which means it'll last longer. Uh, they won't chip and do that crazy scissor thing where the ropes get stuck together or the beads get stuck together, allowing the rope not to bend as much. Um, and it means that the ropes will stay brighter longer. If you've got a white rope and you're jumping on black pavement, if they're a softer bead, they're going to get scuffed up and look black really quickly. Um, the white beads are going to look white for a long time um, because they're a harder plastic and they won't scuff up as much. Uh, we sell all of our colors in one inch beads and two inch beads. So if you prefer the one inch for single rope or if you prefer two inch beads for whatever, um, I usually do one inch beads for single rope, two inch for double dutch, but it's up to you, whatever you want to do. You can actually mix and match all you want. Um, but yeah, we do. We have 20 colors, which is more than any other company, and we can go through all of them right now really quick. So we've got uh, neon pink, pink, red. We've got neon orange, orange, neon yellow, yellow, neon green, green, aqua, teal, light blue, blue, light purple, purple, gold, silver, bronze, black, and white. And of those colors, six of them will actually uh, glow under UV light. So here's a look at what those will look like um, if you have a UV show. A lot of people are starting to do that now, which looks really cool. Um, the other main reason why you're going to choose Flight Crew Jump Rope over any other company is that all of these ropes are custom beaded, which means every single bead that goes on a rope, I put on myself. Blue, white, red. Some of you don't quite appreciate what that means. It means every single rope is your own rope. It's your design. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, let's say you go to um, a random jump rope shop online and you say, I want a jump rope. They're going to say, give me three colors. And you're going to say, oh, red, white, and blue. And your rope's going to look like this, the same that every single red, white, and blue rope looks like. Just like this, red, white, blue, red, white, blue, red, white, blue. But if you order from Flight Crew Jump Rope, you can get a rope that's mostly red with white and blue sprinkled in. You can get a rope that's mostly white with blue and red sprinkled in. You can get a rope that's mostly blue with red and white sprinkled in. You can get a rope that's kind of woven. It's got a little bit of red, long red, long white, long blue, and the other colors are intermixed in there. This is a pattern we call a weave. Red, white, red, blue, red, white, red, blue, red, white, red, blue. You can do one that's one long thing that has a solid section of red, then a solid section of white, then a solid section of blue. So that's just an example of red, white, and blue. All those different patterns you can get with red, white, and blue. Let's take a look at what happens when you start mixing other colors in. Um, here's one This looks great. It's a gold, blue, and white. Gold, blue, white. You can do something like that. Or you can take our cool neon colors, mix it in with some black, and get uh, mostly black rope with some neon uh, sprinkled in there. And it would actually look really cool under black lights. Those, uh, those neon lights will uh, lighten up really well. You could be a Boise State fan. Boise State! Or you could be a Vandal fan. Whatever. Maybe you're a Packers fan and you like uh, green and yellow. You can do that. Um, you can do the opposite, which is green with yellow instead of yellow with green. And uh, those two ropes back to back would look pretty cool either as a set of double dutch or as a Chinese wheel pair because they're mirrors of each other. Speaking of mirrors, you... where did my mirror rope go? Here it is. So we've actually got one rope here that is a pattern of orange and blue on one half and then the other side is blue with orange and that looks really cool. Um, if you're doing a lot of crossing skills or a lot of spinning skills your rope's gonna go like blue orange, blue orange, blue orange and it's gonna kind of have that cool effect on it. Now these ones are super cool. Have a color and then a brighter version of that color for the most part. Red and pink, you know, kind of a Valentine's Day look to it. Here we've got orange and neon orange together. Um, yellow and 
neon yellow. My favorite is green and neon green. Looks kind of like a snake or like a freshly mowed lawn. Uh, this aqua teal looks really great. Blue and blue. We got light purple, dark purple, bronze and gold. Not too different. Black and silver looks great. Those kind of ropes would look really great as uh, like a rainbow set. So you have the long rope is the red one, and the next one in is orange, and then the next one in is yellow, and the next one in is aqua, and the next one in is blue, and the next one in is purple. You can have your actually your whole rainbow rope done by rainbow ropes. Speaking of rainbow ropes, you can also have yourself a rainbow rope. I mean, that's cool too. Or you can have a like a rainbow checkered effect where it's kind of the the offset colors the whole way through. And that's kind of fun too. Some of you out there are kind of like me and you're a big old dork. So you can have a rope like this, just the first half of it. Um, this is one that I made today and it's got a whole bunch of one inch beads mixed in with two inch beads. This is actually Morse code for Lee is cool. So we've got dot, dash, dot, dot, that's L. Dot, that's E. Dot, that's E. Dot, dot, that's uh, I. Dot, 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 that's S. And then dash, dot, dot, you get it. Um, and this is actually binary code for Lee is cool. So we've got uh, our silver is one and our uh, purple is zero. So zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, 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 one, one, zero. You know, if you go all the way down this, binary code wise, it would say Lee is cool. Um, again, some of you might say Lee is a dork, but I think it's kind of fun. So that's just an example of how complicated we can get with these ropes. Um, but we have one more level of awesome complicatedness that we can add. Um, and this one's actually a little bit more cool than Morse code and, and binary code. Um, but we've got uh, magic picture jump ropes, which are when you fold them up, they actually make a picture. A lot of you saw my first uh, post of these ropes in, in Facebook and everything, and it said I heart JR, which is I love jump rope, um, when you folded it up. Uh, you can do that with any kind of color, any kind of uh, pattern you want, actually. Um, this is a rope here that I made for Buddy Lee. A lot of you know who he is. He's a famous, or he's an Olympic wrestler, but he's also a famous jump roper because he, he encourages people to jump rope, but that's what he did as part of his training. Um, so I made him one that folds up into an American flag surrounded by gold. Um, we've got this one here. Maybe we've got a friend out there who loves McDonald's, maybe a little bit too much. Um, and we've got this set right here. This is this is the pride and joy right here. This is a uh, set of 18 foot double dutch ropes. They look kind of cool, a little bit random with the colors. We got some red, we got some blue, we got some yellow, white, brown, a little black in there. And actually, when you fold this up, you get 8-bit Super Mario. Yeah! So that's cool. Um, like I said, we can make any picture you want, any style you want. Um, every bead is put on the ropes by me. So good out there. Think of something that you want on your ropes. Don't just order it in a factory in China. Get it exclusive. Get something that says, this is my rope. Um, I like to think of my rope as sort of my sword, you know, if I'm old school. And, um, you know, Excalibur for King Arthur and hunting for Beowulf and all of that. Um, so get your rope and, and make it yours because uh, that's, that's what we do here at Flight Crew Jump Rope. We put the U in jump. Get it? It's a pun. Yeah.